Yo, what is up YouTube today? We have another Gulag video. We just got a new Gulag with the new season. Um, last season I made a Gulag video, so I'm gonna update it, make a better one. Uh, this Gulag is arguably the best one that we've had so far. I know a lot of people don't like it, um, but it is my favorite given it is very symmetrical. Um, no matter what side you spawn on, you're able to do the exact same thing. So I'm gonna go over four clips in this video and show you how I play the Gulag from either side and why I play it that way. So let's hop into it, let's go. All right, so before we get into the actual gulag portion of the video, um, what I'm going to talk about is Peeker's advantage. So in this gulag, by the way, this is my favorite gulag by far. We'll talk about that later. Um, there's a bunch of head glitches like this where you peek over. A head glitch is essentially just when you put your head over a wall um, and your opponent can't see your, the bottom. They can only see your head. And it's not a glitch. This is just from other FPS games. I'm, I'm unsure of the origin. But so this is what a head glitch would look like. You're peeking over, you know, your torso, your legs, everything is, is, is covered up by the wall. So I'm going to come up here. Um, what you want to do in the gulag is you take head glitches like this. I'll show you my favorite head glitch in the gulag in just a second. Um, you take a head glitch like this and you crouch and then you get info. You peek up, you get info, you, you use your ears. Um, it's all about that information. And so when you peek, you want to actually already have that information to where you could kill your, your, your opponent. So I'm going to come up here. I'm going to get some info. I see him on the left side of this wall. Um, and I'm just going to peek up and shoot as fast as I can and peek down, even if I don't kill him. Um, but it's, it's left him weak and I haven't really you know done anything um i haven't really put myself in a, in a in a bad situation you know he hasn't been able to shoot me um it's been super simple all you do is you peek up you peek down uh you get that info but the majority of your information in this gulag is because it's completely wooden it will come from your audio so we'll talk about that <laughs> in a little bit <laughs> All right, so now that we've talked about Peeker's advantage, let's hop into a Gulag uh, review. So in this Gulag video, um, I'm spawned on this side. The, the sides are technically the same. They're, they're pretty symmetrical. And so what I do is I run towards the right every time. I work my way towards the right, and then I take that little head glitch right around here. So we're going to hop into this. Um, in this Gulag, the guy that I'm fighting isn't that good, but it just shows the fundamentals here. I jump across and I look for the cross. I don't see him crossing over, so I'm going to push straight to it. I hold this head glitch and then I see my target. Um, you know, again, this guy doesn't really know what he's doing. So this is just about the fundamentals and not as much about the guy that I'm fighting. Um, so, I, so I shoot one bullet and I hide myself. I crouch back down below this. So even if he looks over here, he's not going to see me, which is most likely what he did in the time that I shot him. Um, shoot another bullet and he repeaks. This is where it, it kind of changes. But this is just a good practice where I'm coming up and down, regardless of my player's strength, my opponent's strength. I'm coming up and down, you know, dodging his bullets if he did send one over. Because especially with the shotgun, sometimes they, they can get pretty lucky on that bullet spread. So let's go into another clip. So in this clip, this is from the other spawn. Um, and it's the exact same thing. I'm gonna work my way to the head glitch right around here. And with this gun, the one thing that I do want to, to tell you is once you get a gun that has like an SAS stock on it or a Raider stock or something that gives you good aim walking movement speed, you wanna ADS and listen. Um, if you, you know, if you're looking here, basically all of the floor is wooden if somebody's moving around you're going to hear them unless they're ads and they're walking like this so what i do is i get here and in this i kill him pretty quickly i don't really get to hear his footsteps but right here in this time that i start strafing from right to left i am able to hear um and in the clip you're not going to be able to hear it as much on this but when i was playing i was able to hear the guy because he's moving around without adsing and then it's such an easy kill um if he didn't peek that area um, I would have been able to listen and maybe I would have heard him across the gulag or one problem that is with this gulag is you could hear the people above you on the rafters pretty loudly. So make sure that you don't mistake your opponent for the people that are above you on the rafters. Uh, it's kind of annoying. So let's hop into another clip. So the thing that's going to make this gulag video a lot more simpler than the other one is that there's not as much to it, um, which is which is something that I do like about it. So again, we're back on the other side. We're flip flopping back and forth. Uh, I have another gun that has pretty good ADS movement speed. Um, so I'm just going to do the exact same Thing. I'm gonna run to the head glitch. You know, I play the exact same way every time. Um, run to the head glitch. Try to get information on the cross. I get some info and you can shoot through the wood. Make sure that you know that because some people would have stopped shooting and not gotten the kill. So shoot down a little bit and shoot him through the wall. Um, you can't shoot through the wood. A lot of the gulag is just really thin wood. Um, make sure you try to shoot through that stuff. But again, you can play this the exact same way. Um, if you know it, if you know, if you've seen one clip, you've basically seen them all. So let's head into one more and uh, try to get every situation down. So here's an example that's a lot more long-winded. Your opponent's not always going to peek you on this side, and so you need to be ready for that. In this one, I did get a gun where I can ADS and move pretty quickly. So I peek over here, don't see him, but then I stay ADS. I'm trying to get any info that I can get. 
Is that portal here? Got a little info there. I worked my way around and I ADS again. I don't want him to hear me. Gotta look for anything. Make my way over to these steps. This is a little incline in the gulag. Make sure you use your tacticals, your stuns and stuff. Somehow that didn't hit him, but for my way through, I know I've already hit him and I kill him there. So again, you don't have to be that flashy with, with you know, killing somebody in the gulag, but it's just the fundamentals that are there. You ADS everywhere, you get that information, and then you kill them at the end. Make sure you work the flag. Um, it's super simple, though. This gulag, there's really not too much to it. There's no, like, you know, advantage being on the tank. There's no that second floor. Um, there's It's super simple, so this one shouldn't be too hard to grasp. All right, so that is the end to this gulag video. Again, it is a lot easier to, you know, take in than the last one. There's not as much to it. If you know what you're doing when you go in, you play that head glitch, you do that Pico's advantage, you're not gonna have that hard of a time. Again, sometimes you'll get guns that don't allow you to, you know, play how you want to. Sometimes you get the dual pistols with the lasers, the shoddy. Um, if you just use those fundamentals, you can determine the outcome of your match. Just the more you play, the easier it'll get. But I do appreciate you guys for watching. If you liked the video, drop a like, drop a comment. Until the next one, let's go. Peace.